questions for 10 minutes. So Tiago will be responsible for showing you. You have five minutes left and then one minute left. Okay, so if you have some questions, write them down and then we're going to discuss at the end of uh, the five presentations. Okay, so good luck to you all. So say your name and the name of your presentation, please. Okay. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you. We will be the first. Good afternoon. So my name is Fred and today I'll be sharing with you my project for the uh, for my graduation conclusion work. And I'll be talking to you about identity and discourse, discussions about the successful lives of sex workers in English as an additional language classes of the Casa de Cultura no Campus uh, project. So before I begin my presentation, I, will, I want to, sh to uh, talk about a little bit, talk, uh, a little bit about the, the project which I'm a uh, part of. So Casa de Cultura no Campus, it's an extension project from Universidade Federal de Alagoas, FAO, and it's uh, co coordinated and uh, directed by Professor Dr. Sergio Bifa, and it, we uh, we give classes. We give, we give English classes to the students of the university, which cannot pay for a particular course. Okay, no. For more information, you can refer to Sergio's presentation <laughs> yesterday. Okay. So. The main objectives of my presentation today, uh, my communication today, is to talk about socially constructed narrative discourses in English as an additional language classroom, in, in English as an additional language classroom context. Because um, what is a narrative discourse, socially constructed narrative discourse? In, inside the classroom, when we are discussing a topic, uh, whatever it may be, some of the students, would, uh, they have the tendency to want to share a story that they know, and they want to share that story with the other students, and when they tell this story, this is the narrative discourse, okay? And why it's socially constructed? Because it's inside the classroom, which is part of the school, which is another social construct, okay? So it's socially constructed narrative discourse. So when he tells his story, with the other students, he tells that story because he identifies himself with that story. So the other students may also identify the them, themselves with that story that he's telling. So in other words, he's helping to build or to construct the social identities of himself, the students around him, and the teacher also, because it's also a part of the classroom context. And Common sense values. Uh, today, I'll be talking. I'll be giving you. Um, I'm going to show you what I did with a class in in a class that I taught this semester, and it's important to break some of the common sense values, which is also part of the teacher's responsibility as an educator. Okay, mm -hmm. to create not only students that reproduce the language but are also capable of thinking for themselves and be more aware of the social differences. Okay. So uh, the class in which I gave, I don't, I don't know if you can see it clearly, I, I was working, the theme was uh, to be successful means and uh, the three dots. And in this classroom I started giving the students this sentence, to be successful means and I wrote it on the board, and I asked them to complete the sentence with what, whatever they thought about it. And they gave me different, many different opinions. All right, okay. And then I asked them to, I gave them these advertisements of sex workers which talk about their successful lives because they chose the jobs that suit their needs. And they tell uh, a little bit about their, their background story. And I gave them, the students, this, and I asked them to, to uh, and asked them the question: What does what does to be successful mean mean to these women? Okay, and we started to discuss a little bit about it. And I'm I'm going to show you now a piece of an extract from the classroom. So this 
So uh, this is my classroom, okay? And it was a pre-intermediate one level for the students of the pre-intermediate one level. And I started talking, uh, asking them, so what does she say about her job? And then uh, a student, student called Roberto, which is a fake name, okay? So student Roberto said, she loves it, teacher. She's safada. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then I, I continued. Because she loves her job, uh, does that mean everyone who loves their job is safado or safada? <laughs> I love my job, so does that mean I am safada? <laughs> or naughty, naughty person? So, student Fernanda, she intervened and she said, prejudice teacher. And then Roberto he began, began to stutter and he said, no, no, no teacher, no. I was joking, I was just joking. And then I said, Fernanda is right. This is prejudice, Roberto. And what is prejudice in Portuguese, Roberto? Preconceito. So here we can see that uh, student Roberto, he suffered a break from his common sense value in thinking that sex workers, women who are sex workers, are naughty persons, naughty people. And they do their jobs. They chose to be sex workers because they are naughty women. Okay. So here we can see that he broke that common sense value. Then after the classroom, we, uh, I asked the students, what did you learn from today's class? And I collected some, I brought to you some of the students' commentaries to this question, okay? So uh, the student Fabiana, she said, we have, look, we have, in this case, to look. We have to look beyond the appearances and see sex workers are people like us. What doesn't always happen, okay? So, I was happy when uh, I read this commentary because I could see that I achieved my goal in breaking that social, social common sense value. Mm -hmm. And then another student, Carlos, he said, uh, today I saw that all world, in this case all world, he wanted to, he meant to say everyone or everybody. So today I saw that everybody is different. Sex workers are not so different. Okay, for my thought. So again, I was very happy when I discovered this commentary. <coughs> so I will, sh uh, some considerations, okay. Uh, what we can, uh, what I, we can co conclude from this uh, presentation is that it's important for us as teachers to, to make the students, to bring them a ver varied uh, discourses or many different themes that they can work, polemic or not, but in order for them to question their common sense values which are seen as, usually seen as natural or end hegemonic, all right? Because uh, in order to widen their, their views towards the social differences, which is also a part of us as an educators, okay? And also that the teachers, uh, the teachers, we need to comprehend the reality of the students in order to create this effect. So we need to understand where they are, where they come from, what are their social backgrounds, etc., etc. Okay. So thank you. That's all for today. And here are the references if you would like to copy them. Thank you.